Hey everybody, Steuben here, and it's been a long time since I've done a Digimon deck video or opening or unboxing. It's been a long time. Uh, <laughs> I think at least over a year since I've done anything Digimon on the channel, and uh, it's probably because I just don't love the game as much as I used to, but I do love Terriermon and Rapidmon and Gargomon and Mega Gargomon, and this deck is brand new. This is the advanced deck set to revitalize the Terriermon, Lotmon kind of strategy. Bring it up to the meta a little bit. Uh, I do have a extra bonus pack, I guess, the Double Typhoon Cup. So there's 13 total cards inside of this. We'll save this for after we crack the deck. Um, but yeah, I, I play super casually with Digimon. So don't expect a lot of content just whenever, I guess, these get updated and so on and so forth. But without further ado, let's just bust into this and see what's inside. I'm just gonna end up destroying the box. And inside we have everything falling out. Okay, ooh, we have a secret pack in here. So we'll save that for the end. It looks like we get a paper playmat. We've got the gold Rapidmon on here. Pretty cool. Back side, we've got the Terriermon and Lotmon. Kind of cool. I wish they weren't paper mats. I wish they would make these into real mats and sell them. We get a pack of sleeves with Terriermon and Lotmon. Uh, they're those foily ones that shuffle very poorly in peel. If you're going to use these, I probably recommend that you use oversleeves like KMCs or Ultimate Guard. Uh, looks like we have the bonus cards here. We'll save that for the end. And of course, the deck. So we'll unsleeve this and just take a look through it and see what we can do here. Uh, I don't have all my other stuff with me right now, but eventually I will probably buy a second one of these and attempt to make some sort of competitive-ish deck with these. So uh, right out of the gate, I think we have memory. Yeah, we have a metal memory markers for the duo here. So they really do give you a lot. It looks like we got, I don't know, these little markers, probably for the memory gauge. Most people's play maths have all that kind of stuff. Looks like how to play, explaining aces and blast evolution, overflow. Well, there's a lot of new game mechanics since I've played. Um, so bear with me here. All right, look for our eggs first. We have a set of gummy mon. When attacking once per turn, if you have a green tamer, draw one. That's the inherited effect. I assume we get four of these, and we do. And then we go right into the first super rare. We have the Terrier Mon. We have the level three Digivolve from Gummy Mon for zero. I don't know why they put that. It doesn't really matter. It's got zero Digivolve here. I guess in case you don't want to Digivolve from green and they ever made like a different color Gummy Mon, I guess that's why they would do that. Uh, once per turn, when you play one green tamer card, you may play one green tamer card or a level three Digimon with Lotmon in its name from your hand with the play cost reduced by two. So if the Lotmon right behind this is a three cost, it's only going to cost one. And yep, there it is. So you get two of each of the supers. So if you do want to play the Terriermon with the extra tamer, you probably got to play four copies of it. There are tons of different Terriermon though, so you probably don't necessarily need it. Uh, you got the Lotmon here. I really like the texturing. On this, Bandai's really been stepping it up across all of their games with the card texture. Once per turn, one of your Digimon gains Alliance for the turn, and while well, it's suspended with an inheritable effect, it gains plus 1,000 DP. Same thing with the Terrier Mon here. Then we have a Wendigo Mon. Five cost, 4K DP, Digivolve for three from Terrier Mon or Lot Mon, and it only costs two, so it reduced Digivolution costs there. On play or when Digivolving, Delete one level three or lower Digimon. If this effect deleted one of your Digimon, you may play one level three Digimon card with Terriermon or Lotmon in its name from your trash without paying the cost. Uh, so it's not optional, it just says delete. So you have to delete something. So we got four copies of that. We have the Gargomon, which is green and black. The Wendigo is green and purple. So we're gonna have a little bit of variety in here, but it's mostly green focused with secondary colors. Uh, reduced cost for two or on play for six, Digivolve for three from whatever else, 5k DP. Digging the Agumon, chilling on the back. Your turn once per turn when this Digimon becomes suspended 
one of your Digimon gains jamming for the turn. So you can swing through security and cause chaos that way. Here we go. We got the gold rapid mon here. 7k DP on play cost of seven or Digivolve from green or yellow for four. But if they have Terrier Mon in the name, you can Digivolve for three instead. So this is Blocker, Armor Purge. Absolutely insane. All turns once per turn. When this Digimon becomes suspended, one of your opponent's Digimon and all of their security Digimon get minus 4,000 DP for the end of the turn. And then the same thing, Inheritable. When it's suspended, plus 1,000. So we got two of the Rapid Mon. And we have a five cost Rapid Mon. This is the non-gold one, not the, uh, the fancy armor version. Uh, you can reduce the cost to three if you evolve into a Gargo from a Gargomon or a Rapid Mon, 7k DP. Seven cost, Digivolve for four from anybody else. On play, when Digivolve, indeed Digivolve one of your opponent's Digimon. Then if you have a Green Tamer until the end of the, their turn, your opponent's effects can't delete this Digimon or return it to the hand. So it gets a little bit of protection. You did digivolve them and gain protection. And the Inheritable effect, when this Digimon deletes an opponent's Digimon in battle, trash the top card of their security stack. That's really cool. You can swing into something, delete it, and then trash this top. So we got four of those. And then here is the ace or the boss of the deck, the brand new Mega Gargomon Ace. 12K DP, the texture and foiling on this is absolutely insane. You can Digivolve from a Rapid Mon for a cost of five. Uh, typically though, green or black would be cost of four. All right, and then hand, counter, blast Digivolve. And that basically just means one of your Digimon may Digivolve into this card without paying the cost. And counter meaning like they attack, you can Digivolve into this during their turn. It's also a blocker and it's got reboot. When Digivolving, suspend two of your opponent's Digimon or Tamers. Then two of their Digimon or Tamers can't unsuspend or Digivolve until the end of their turn. When Digivolving, end of attack, once per turn, you may unsuspend this Digimon. And then of course it's got overflow, so if it gets removed from the field, uh, you lose four memory. Kind of what keeps the uh, counters in check. All right, we have Cherubimon here. 12k DP, 12 cost, Digivolve for four, or from Antillamon, cost three. It's got Alliance. When Digivolving, you may delete one level four or lower Digimon. Then you may play one level four or lower green or purple Digimon card from your hand or trash without paying the cost. So just more recursion. Uh, the purple halves tend to do that. All right, we have a new Henry. Start of your main phase. If your opponent has a Digimon, gain one memory. Main effect. By placing this Tamer in one Gargomon and one Rapid Mon from your trash in any order as one of your Terrier Mon's bottom Digivolution cards, that Digimon may Digivolve into Mega Gargomon in the hand for a cost of four, ignoring its Digivolution requirements. If this effect Digivolve, that Digimon gains a rush for the turn. So you can rush and swing instantly. You can turn a Terrier Mon into a Mega Gargomon, and there are other ones. There's a lot of older ones. There's a few bigger ones, too. Uh, for a cost of four, and then you're going to get the inheritables from the Mega Gargomon, or I'm sorry, from the Gargomon and the Rapid Mon. Kind of nuts. So we got four copies of Henry here. We have the namesake of the deck, Double Typhoon Main. Reveal top three cards of your deck, add one green Digimon card and one such Tamer card among them to the hand. Return the rest to the bottom of the deck, then place this card in the battle area. So you have main and delay, so you can do this later on. You may play one Terrier Mon or a Lot Mon from your hand without paying the cost. And then the security effect, spend two of your opponent's Digimon, then place this card in the battle area. So that's the delay effect for later on. So you get two copies of that. Then we have Giant Missile 8 case, 8 cost option here. Main, suspend one of your opponent's Digimon, then return one of their suspended Digimon to the bottom of the deck. One of their Digimon can't unsuspend until the end of their turn. So it's like a three and one. Suspend one, bounce one, prevent one from uh, unsuspending. So, whew. And then security effect just does the same effect. We got four copies of that. And then here we are into the reprints. We have the EX4, 32 Terramon. We got four copies as foils. We have Terriermon Assistant uh, from EX4 as foils. We've got Antilamon from EX4 as foils. We have Willis and Henry from EX2 and BT8, respectively. These are just older reprints. We've had those cards already. So now let's take a look at these extra cards included. And that's a little bit of a tighter squeeze to get that off of there. Well, that's actually insanely tight on these cards. There we go. It, I think it did a little bit of damage. 
just from being on there. All right, so we have an alternate art Kokomon, which is a different level two that you could play. This is from EX4. We have an alternate art EX4 Lamon. We have a full art textured BT8 Rapidmon. This is the one that was in the deck profile that we played forever ago. Let's tap everything down and minus 5k DP. We have an alternate art Magnamon from ST17, it says. This is an exclusive card for this deck, I guess. We have the Digivolves from Vmon, really pretty texture. So that'll probably just end up being traded. I don't play blue or black decks with all those. I do have a, I technically have a black deck. It's like uh, Mommymon, but it's nothing super crazy. We have Fireball, main, delete one of your opponent's Digimon with 3k DP or less. If it didn't delete, draw two. Interesting. We have Kaiser Nail from Starter Deck 2 as an alternate art. Absolutely gorgeous card. Blinding Ray from BT4 as an alternate art. Pride Memory Boost as an alternate art. And Mist Memory Boost as an alternate art. So those are the extra cards out of the back. You know, most likely you'll end up playing these three in some shape or form if you build full Lotmon. I probably won't do the Lotmon or the Alliance stuff. I'm probably just going to build like Terriermon, Rapidmon, Mega Gargamon. Alright, so here we have the ST17 Secret Pack. One card per pack. Six cards total. I'm not quite sure what we can get in here, but we did get a Rapidmon. Ooh, look at the texture and foiling here. Level 4. So this is the reprint from in this set. So it's literally just this card. Just a prettier version of it. Pretty cool. And then we have our Double Typhoon Cup. I think this is like a pre-release pack. So let's see what's inside here. And we have just the alternate art Blinding Ray with the Double Typhoon stamp on there. And then we have the Giant Missile with the Double Typhoon Cup stamp. But that's the deck. You get a lot of value. This uh, retails for about $30. So you get a lot of cards in here. Um, there's events for this where you can win a uh, winner card and there's some participation stuff. I think that's what this is from. I'm not 100% certain. But that's the opening here. Uh, if you want to see a full Rapid Mon, Mega Gargomon deck profile, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, don't expect a lot of Digimon stuff, just whenever I'm in the mood. Again, I'm super focused on Lorcana, Dragon Ball, and Pokemon still. So keep that in mind. But I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, let me know with a like. Comment and subscribe, of course, to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.